Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on IEEE 754 double precision format in computer architecture course, computer organization course, computer organization and architecture course. The given problem is consider a 64 bit register which stores floating point numbers in IEEE 754 double precision format. Find the decimal value of the following 64 bits. So these are the given 64 bits. For these given 64 bits in IEEE 754 double precision format, we have to find out the equivalent decimal value. This is the given problem. Before solving this problem, first of all, we have to know about IEEE 754 double precision format. It contains uh, 64 bits. So starting with the 0, and ending with 63. These 64 bits can be divided into three fields. The first field can be called as Mantisa that can be denoted by capital M. 52 bits are allocated for Mantisa starting with the 0 and ending with 51. Next field can be called as exponent that can be denoted by capital E. 11 bits are allocated per exponent starting with 52 and ending with 62. Next one bit can be allocated for sign bit that can be denoted by S starting with 62 and ending with 63. So this is the 64 double precision, 64 bit IEEE 754 double precision format. Now, in this problem, we have to use normalization. There are uh, two types of normalizations. First one is explicit normalization. Second one is implicit normalization. Among the two types of normalizations, the default one is implicit normalization. Whether it is specified in the given problem or not, the default one is implicit normalization so that we have to use this normalization. In, the, uh, impl in this implicit normalization, the formula is minus 1 whole power s into 1.m into 2 power e minus by os where s is nothing but sine bit and m is nothing but mantissa and e is nothing but exponent and by os is nothing but <coughs> by os is equal to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 where n is nothing but number of bits allocated per exponent. How many bits are allocated per exponent? 11 bits. 2 power 11 minus 1 minus 1. That is 2 power n minus 1. That is 1023. So by us value in implicit normalization or our explicit normalization is so 1023. Next. In the case of explicit normalization, the formula is minus 1 whole power s into 0 0.m into 2 power e minus by s. Only the difference between the two types of normalizations is here 1.m is there, here 0 0.m is there. Okay, only the difference is here, the remaining things are similar. <coughs> Now, now we can go for this problem. Here, in the given problem, 64-bit 
I triple A seven fifty four double question format is there. This format is compared with the this format standard I triple A seven fifty four double question format. When we are comparing with the this format with this format, first you have to know the S bit value. So what is the S bit value here? One. So first one is when we are comparing this one with this one, we can find that S value is one. That means that means. given decimal number is a negative decimal number negative decimal number negative decimal number here S value is equal to zero. We can say that given decimal number is a positive decimal number. S value is equal to one. We can say that it is a negative decimal number. So here S value is one when comparing this one and this one. We can say that the given decimal number is a negative decimal. Number. Okay. Next, we know the S value. Next, second one is comparing this one with this one. Okay. So here, E value is equal to eleven bit. So one eight zeros. One one total eleven bits. Now we have to find out the equivalent decimal value. So for that one we have to apply the positional weights starting from uh, right to left. So this is a two power zero positional weight, two power one positional weight, two power two positional weight, two power three positional weight. Two power four positional weight, two power five positional weight, two power six positional weight, two power seven positional weight, two power eight positional weight, two power nine positional weight, two power ten positional weight. So now this digit is multiplied with the corresponding positional weight. So one into two power n plus. Zero into two power nine is nothing but zero. Zero into two power eight is nothing but zero. Zero into two power seven is nothing but zero. Zero into two power six is nothing but zero. Zero into two power five is nothing but zero. Zero into two power four is nothing but zero. Zero into two power three is nothing but zero. Zero into two power two is nothing but zero. One into two power one is nothing but two power one plus one into two power zero is nothing but one. <coughs> so one into two power ten is one thousand and twenty four. One into two power one is two. One into two power zero is one. That is one thousand and twenty seven. Okay. In that. Uh, Exponent value, bias value is also added. Okay, already added. So that this e can be called as biased exponent because already bias value is already added. So that we can say that the biased exponent value is one zero twenty seven. Already we know the bias value, so bias value is already we are already find out bias value in double question format is one thousand and twenty three. Now we have to find out the 
true exponent value true exponent value is equal to biocellular exponent minus bias value what is the bias exponent value 1027 minus what is the bias value 1023 that is equal to 4 this is called as true exponent value okay next already we find out the s value we find out the true exponent value so this true exponent value is nothing but e minus by us okay e is nothing but bias exponent this is bias value true exponent is also called as e minus bias <coughs> next next we have to find out the m value this fact can be compared with this one mantissa is always a fraction value so that starting with the zero point okay now this is the mantissa value 1 1 0 1 1 remaining things are zeros okay now we already know the s value we already know the true exponent value we already know the m value now we have to use implicit normalization formula so, decimal value is equal to formula is minus 1 whole power s into 1 point m into 2 power e minus by s. This one. Okay, now, now substitute the S value, M value and E minus my S value. S value how much? 1. Minus 1 whole power 1 into 1 point M. M value is 11011 into 2 power E minus by S also called as true exponent. True exponent value is 4. So, minus 1 whole power 1 is nothing but minus 1.11011 into 2 power 4. Okay. What is the equivalent decimal value? When we are multiplying with uh, this number with the uh, 2 power 4, we have to move the decimal point 4 places towards right. Okay. So, and we are multiplying with this number with the 2 power 4, move the decimal point 4 places towards right. So, then we are getting first position, second position, third position, fourth position. So, 1101.1. One, 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 one. After multiplying the decimal point, this number with the 2 power 4, the decimal point moves towards right 4 places. So, this value we are getting. This is the negative value. Okay. Now, to find out the decimal equivalent, we have to apply the positional weight okay here we have to apply the positional weight for integer part starting with 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 for integer part starting with uh, lsb 2 power 0 starting with 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 Frax for fractional part starting from 2 power minus 1. Okay. Now, <coughs> so 1 into 2 power 4. 
1 into 2 power 4 plus 1 into 2 power 3 1 into 2 power 3 plus 1 into 2 power 2 1 into 2 power 2 0 into 2 power 1 that is nothing but 0 plus 1 into 2 power 0 plus 1 into 2 power minus 1 so that this is 1 into 2 power 4 is 60 1 into 2 power 3 is 8 1 into 2 power 2 is 4 1 into 2 power 0 is nothing but 1 1 into 2 power minus 1 is nothing but 1 by 2 1 by 2 is nothing but 0.5 minus so that is nothing but minus 29.5 so therefore the decimal equivalent value is minus 29.5 base 10 in this way we have to solve the given problem so this is the given 64 bit IEEE double question format the equivalent is per value is minus 29.5 in this way we have to solve the given problem i hope all of you understanding this video if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel divela srinivasarao after subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.